Pretty neat there. The local nonprofit UCAN is behind the project and back with us for a look at what is next is Shaw Evans and DJ Payne One. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thank you for having I us. I know it's a little early this morning, so it's he's the only one that complains. <laughs> I, I handle all the business and he's the musician, so for him this is early. Yeah, so. it's early for me too. So <laughs> just stereotypes. They, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's start with a look back at this project and what mm -hmm. it meant for you guys um, and what the process was like. I mean. This is our second year doing this. Um, we decided to take it a step further and make sure they get in the booth, record. Mm -hmm. That was interesting because, <laughs> uh, and, and much love to Madison Library for making that happen, but each kid had to record their take separately and then once that was done, we had to get it to our engineer and so he looked at it and said, I've never seen that many tracks on, um, in a project ever. And so, but it went well, the kids, um, this year, I think we're a little more excited because the teachers spoke about it so they knew what to expect. And yeah, the assembly went well, the park event went well. So yeah. Yeah, you no guys complaints. have a lot of events kind of coming up here too. Mm -hmm. I grew up with Schoolhouse Rock. I remember the poppy little, you know, and they taught me things. I remember those things. Mm -hmm. So how does this kind of reflect on that idea? But all, I mean, this takes it a step further, obviously. Yeah, well, some of these songs that these kids wrote were, were catchy. So we hope that not only did they learn about the content and, and got a taste of um, you know some, some creativity and, and and art that maybe they weren't otherwise exposed to or otherwise experienced and especially not recording in the studio um, but additionally hopefully some of the themes of the the unit they really retained better because of this songwriting process and hopefully they became more aware about um, I guess global citizenry and, and spread those good habits to others. I'm curious, I know you guys work with the hip hop community here in Madison. How in your brains did you make the connection between, you know, bringing that music style and then bringing it into the classroom and having kids learn from it? To be honest, all credit has to go to the teacher. Um, she was able to, she reached out to us last year and said, we wanna, I wanna bring hip hop into our classroom and we sort of want to, and this is the unit we're on. Hmm. And then we game planned and talked about it and said, well, what if we just had the kids write songs? And then the idea came in, let's bring rapper, local rappers in to work with these students. We thought it would be a win-win situation. Rappers get to have a younger fan base and um, then the kids get to learn from people that are actually doing this um, as a career or want to do this as a career. So it, it seemed like a win-win situation yeah. all around. So. We have uh, about 15 seconds left and I just want to give you guys an opportunity to say what's next for maybe this project and others for you guys. Um, well, right now we're in the summer concert series. Our next event is July 30th on State Street, 30 on the Square. Um, we have a, more local events coming up. We have the Madison Hip Hop Awards November 12th um, at the Barrymore Theater. And so, yeah, just thank you to, I just want to say thank you to um, Madison Media Institute Dane Arts, Madison Arts Commission, without them, none of this would be happening for us, so. Absolutely, looking forward to the next one. I'm interested to see what the kids come up with next. Yeah, next year, <laughs> Black, it'll be crazy, and we wanna take this to other schools as well, so we're really hyped about it and really excited. Awesome, Shaw Evans and DJ Payne One, thank you so much for joining us and waking up this morning with uh, us. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs>